Here. Summer? More like summer. You ready for some heat? Yeah. Ready or not. <laughs> ready or not. 632 new this morning. The opening of some of the new facilities at the Illinois Veterans Home have been pushed back. Yeah, part of the more than $200 million project was expected to be completed by the end of April. WGEM's Ryan Hill joins us to explain the delays and an updated timeline. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning. Now, the administrator for the Illinois Veterans Home says they are 80 to 85 percent finished with the project. Says the kitchens expect to open in late July and the independent living facility should open sometime later this year. Now, the chief engineer says they have faced supply chain issues since construction started in 2020, including steel beams and iron rods and new boilers. He says despite the supply delays, the construction crews were able to get interior work like plumbing and electricity done. He says now they are in the final stretch for construction for the domiciliary. Really, we're to the trim out portion of that building. Uh, the trim just goes a little bit slower uh, as opposed to the rough uh, forefront of the construction. And then we have some site work that has to happen on the outside of the building as well, and then also some floor work inside of the domiciliary building. Clifford says that the work mostly consists of putting in cabinets, ceiling tiles, plumbing fixtures, and other items. It says work on the dining hall and kitchen is in the final stages. Crews are now making sure everything is in working order. Back to you, Andy. Thank you, Ryan. The massive improvement effort was prompted by multiple outbreaks of the Legionnaire's disease starting in 2015. At least 13 residents died and dozens more were sickened. New this morning.